This is the vegan anarchist. And in this video, it's gonna be about individual called individualism versus collectivism, a false dichotomy. You know, um, this is false dichotomy that's all over the not just the internet but pu public discourse from like objectivists saying smearing like anarchists or commies to anybody on the left with collectivists to like political quizzes that, that places the right as individuals and the left as collectivists and that they're and that and things like that are blaming everything on collectivism. But it's the, but the issue is not individual versus collectivism. It is it is vertical collectivism versus horizontal collectivism. Vertical collectivism will be like you a corporation or a government. We have people in hierarchies, people bossing other people around, people with more power. In a horizontal, in a horizontal collectivism would be like, like your, your friends or like, for example, a workers' council. It could be temporary time is owned. It's basically people are interact with a position of equality and you get an equal egalitarianness. And those two are completely different. So in fact, vertical collectivism crushes the individual, just crushes. But horizontal collectivism doesn't do that. It enhances individuals, the individual. Because whether you like it or not, humans are a social creature. Even when other people are not around, we wish they're around. And if we can't find anybody, we just pretend like I don't know, a volleyball is, is somebody, pretend they're a person, or some inanimate object. Because we crave to be in interaction. We're stronger together. And that doesn't mean that we can't be free or have individual rights, but rather we have free associations and have positions that are free relations with other people with equal equality. And for God's sake, Ayn Rand is a fucking hypocrite. Those cappies or capitalists who call socialism collectivism when capitalism is collectivism too. Corporations are vertically collectivist. They don't make the distinction, but they're vertically collectivist, and they actively crush the individual out in their freedoms. But they're hypocrites on that. The truth is, humans are by nature have an individual and a collectivist. We're individualists as we have subjective awareness, subjective experiences, but we're also collectivists. We need to interact with other people. We rely on others to survive. And almost everything around us, like my house, to my, to basically, a lot of things we have to take for granted because we work together. And that should, and I believe in free association. And anarchists are not against organizations, they're against vertically collectivist organizations. They're for, they're for horizontally collectivism, individualist organizations. In fact, even Max Turner, the individualist supreme, even he acknowledges that. And that's why he proposes things like the union of egoists, insurrectionists, or individualists. He could be, as a social anarchist, I don't see him as the economy. I see him as two facets of the human experience. The one we have to get rid of is the vertical collectivism. Anyways, this is a vegan anarchist. No meat, no milk, no masters. See ya!